Burlington athlete, Colin Benson from Medfield, Tim Jock, Jock Wes of uh, Northampton, Gillen Lim of Weston, and Noah Johansson of Amherst Pelham. And here we go. Boys seeded two mile at the Division Four State Championships. Shep, it looks like Prakash got out early. Aquaviva on his shoulders. That's yeah. what we want. Yeah, they're going to separate themselves early, I believe, and just run one, two. He is a defending champion and the state cross country champion. Aquaviva. Prakash, Aquaviva. Let's go. Daniel Moynihan, Catholic, in 1965, 9 20. And that looks like it's the Northampton athlete in third right now. Not their top guy. That's Tim Jacks. Jacques. That's a toughie. I'm just gonna Jacques. go. I'm just gonna go to Northampton. It's early in the race. Rohan, one of the captains of Wakefield, dead last. When does he start to move up and keep distance to the lead pack? Yeah, I mean it's a 16-lap race, so you you don't need to do too much early. Try and conserve all your energy. Don't be fighting like Roberto needs to not be on the outside. He needs to just settle into the pace somewhere. Regardless as well. There's no point of fighting for position in a 16 lap race on lap one and two. Wait for the openings. Special shout out to Gillen Lim out of Weston. Worked real hard over the summer. Shout out to Gillen. So apparently it's pronounced Jakes, Tim Jakes. That's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. It's interesting, Shep. Prakash doing the work. Yeah. Aquaviva lurking. Well, that's what Aquaviva does, man. He lurks. That's both HAMP athletes. Nope. One HAMP, HAMP athlete. And then is that Ben Packer from Wilmington? Or is that, or is that McGlynn up there? It is McGlynn. That's Colin McGlynn. Trying to move up. It's not. We'll find out who that other athlete is in the top four right now. Aquaviva made a move. It's not that quick. Aquaviva says, too slow, too many people in it. We're going to start to move here a little bit. 226 through the eight. Rest of the field's right around 955 pace. This is the fast heat. We already had the slow heat. It was one in. Once it pops up on the board, 10-24 was the winner. So Aquaviva leading now. Ash from Burlington in second. He needs 10 or 8 points. A little quick look at the watch. And that is... Tobias Lesperance of Northampton. It's a three-man race. They're pulling away. This is the seated boys two mile. This is going to be a game of cat and mouse. Who makes the move? Who surges? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure Pakash is fine with just hanging on right now and seeing how he feels later on. I think we have wrong hip numbers because that's not Carter Margolis from Wakefield with in third, but he has a six on his chest, I believe. Did we have a screw up on the, I don't know. the hip numbers? Shep, maybe 4.45 at the mile mark? Yeah, we'll see. It's going to be right around there. Maybe a little slower. Yeah, so that's, that's a hand athlete with six on it. Our six is saying that it's Carter Margolis from Wakefield, but he's a little bit back. So I'm kind of confused on either our heat sheet is wrong or we got an issue here. Is now turning into a two-man race. They are pulling away. Aquaviva is starting to apply the pressure. Yeah, they're going to be a little slower, a little closer to 450. So they're going to be about 940 pace, maybe a tick faster. 447 through the mile. 
Hampton getting valuable points. Northampton is in third and fourth place. The Warrior boys are moving up. Colin McGlynn making the pass. So our 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 sec our hit numbers are all wrong right now because I know what the athletes look like. So I don't, I'm not sure if the kids when they were in line put the long hit, wrong hit numbers on. So that will be interesting to see. Viva Prakash, what we expected. Oh, we're going Viva for short? I like it. Although I do like to pronounce the whole thing. Aqua Viva. Aqua Viva. But you be you. Wakefield boys battling behind. Colin McGlynn, he's in it. Got to make a move, Colin. Rohan starting to move up. We need Rohan to move up. Two-man race. Viva, Prakash, Aqua Viva. Talented senior out of Newburyport. Talented senior out of Burlington. Prakash just looks patient, sitting on the outside shoulder. Majolis ready to move. Roberto moving. Cole McGlynn got to stay to that pack. Stay with that Northampton group. Now, now we see Rohan. Aqua Viva. Prakash, five laps to go. Prakash going nowhere. And it's Tobias Lash Perez from Northampton. Matthew Roberto from Wakefield. Carter Margolis from Wakefield. Change. Aqua Viva continues to lead. Aqua Viva is doing the work. Uh oh. For that Here we go. They're moving. It does, is it just me or does it look like Prakash is starting to. No. No. Show a little strain on his face. No, he's right in it. He's right in it. Someone's going to make a move though. You're starting to have Carter Magola start to move up on the Northampton athlete that's in fourth. Roberto in fifth. And then you always have the lapping, which can get dicey here. Three to go. Aqua Viva. Prakash right on his shoulder. Not paying attention to the hip numbers anymore. We're just going by what we know. Hampton in third place. Most Major likely Tobias Lesperance. Margola is starting to gain on him. Roberto from Wakefield in, in fifth. That's Tim Jakes from Northampton. Two laps to go. 8:24. Aqua Viva trying to press it. Prakash going nowhere. What a race we have up front. We're coming up on the bell lap. Margolis from Wakefield has now moved into third. These guys are going around the 600. And things are heating up. Aqua Viva. Prakash. Oh. Here we go. Be the double winner. Aqua Viva turning on the Jets. 8.56 at the bell lap and we're moving. Prakash going for the pass. Here he comes. Prakash goes sailing by him on the back stretch. Here he comes. Prakash set and kicks. See you later. Aqua Viva can't react. It's all Prakash here on the straightaway. Prakash says I will see you at all states. 923, Aqua Viva. 923. Okay. What a race. Prakash. The battle for third place is still on the track. Majolis has just caught the Hampton boy, I think. Oh, Wakefield. Wakefield trying to get some valuable points. Real valuable points. Let's see what the Warriors do. 
Marjolis coming through. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Hanson getting North Hanson getting big points. Wakefield two points, three points, three three scorers. What? How does that play out in strategy? Perry and Ru and Ruben put three boys in the two mile and they placed. I can't even believe that I said that Prakash might be struggling a little bit because that was a monster last 200. Prakash, Prakash 